as of January 2026, the global aerospace landscape is witnessing a historic shift as the first mass-produced units of the KF-21 Borame begin to roll off the production lines in Sacheon, South Korea. This milestone marks the transition of the Republic of Korea from a consumer of high-end defense technology to a premier provider of advanced fighter jets. While the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II remains the gold standard for fifth-generation stealth capabilities, a growing number of strategic allies are recognizing that air superiority in the mid-21st century requires a diversified fleet. The emergence of the KF-21 is not viewed by military analysts as a direct challenge to the F-35, but rather as a necessary evolution of the high-low mix strategy where both platforms perform distinct yet complementary roles in a modern contested environment. The technical architecture of these two aircraft reveals why a dual platform approach is increasingly favored by defense ministries from Warsaw to Manila. The F-35 is designed as a quarterback of the sky, optimized for low observability and multi-domain sensor fusion. Its primary strength lies in its ability to penetrate sophisticated integrated air defense systems, IADS, undetected. However, the F-35 operates with a single engine and is limited by internal weapons bay capacity when maintaining its stealth profile. In contrast, the KF-21 Borame utilizes a twin-engine configuration powered by General Electric F414 engines, providing a higher top speed of Mach 1.81 compared to the Mach 1.6 limit of the F-35. For missions involving rapid interception or sustained air-to-air -air combat, where stealth is secondary to kinematics and persistence, the KF-21 offers a superior flight envelope. The economic reality of modern warfare serves as another primary driver for the adoption of both jets. While the flyaway cost of an F-35A has stabilized at approximately 80 million US dollars to 100 million US dollars, the true burden lies in its life cycle costs. The cost per flight hour for the F-35 remains high, often cited between 30,000 US dollars and 40,000 US dollars. For many nations, flying a stealth jet for routine patrol or low-intensity missions is fiscally unsustainable. The KF-21 Boramai enters the market with a projected cost per flight hour of roughly $20,000, making it a highly efficient workhorse for the majority of sorties. By maintaining a fleet of both aircraft, an Air Force can reserve its expensive F-35s for high-risk first day of war operations while utilizing the KF-21 for daily defense and high-volume strike missions. A critical factor that resonates deeply within the South Korean defense industry and among its international partners is the concept of technological sovereignty. Historically, nations purchasing American-made fighters like the F-35 have encountered significant restrictions regarding source code access. This black box policy means that any modification from integrating locally developed missiles to updating electronic warfare libraries requires direct approval and intervention from the United States government and Lockheed Martin. This process can be time-consuming and prohibitively expensive. The KF-21, however, represents a paradigm shift. Since South Korea owns the intellectual property for the aircraft's flight control systems and its ASA radar, developed by Hanwha Systems, it has the freedom to integrate a wide array of weaponry. This includes the European Meteor long-range air-to-air missile and various indigenous precision-guided munitions. For allies like Poland or Australia, the ability to tailor a fighter jet to specific regional threats without waiting for foreign approval is a strategic advantage that cannot be overstated. The industrial momentum behind the KF-21 program in 2026 is further bolstered by its impressive development timeline. While many modern fighter programs suffer from decades of delays, the Borame has moved from its first flight in 2022 to mass production in 2026 with remarkable precision. This reliability has attracted the attention of countries currently operating aging F-16 or F-18 fleets. 
The Philippines, for instance, has recently signaled a strong intent to acquire the KF-21 as part of its Horizon 3 modernization program, citing the aircraft's balance of advanced avionics and manageable maintenance requirements. Even Middle Eastern nations like the United Arab Emirates have expressed interest in the Block 2 and Block 3 variants, which are expected to feature internal weapons bays, bringing the Borame closer to true fifth-generation stealth performance. As the KF-21 Block 1 enters service, the focus of the Republic of Korea Air Force is already shifting toward the future of manned-unmanned teaming, MUM-T. The Borame is being designed to act as a command hub for loyal wingman drones. These unmanned platforms will fly ahead of the KF-21 to jam enemy sensors or act as additional missile magazines. This capability ensures that even if the KF-21 lacks the extreme stealth of the F-35, it can survive in high-threat environments by utilizing drones to absorb risk. This vision of a system of systems is what makes the South Korean aerospace industry so competitive in 2026. It is not just selling a plane, it is selling an adaptable, future-proof combat ecosystem. Furthermore, the geopolitical implications of the South Korean defense surge are profound. South Korea has effectively become the arsenal of democracy for the Indo-Pacific and Eastern Europe. With the United States defense industry often stretched thin by domestic requirements and complex export regulations, South Korea offers a reliable, high-tech alternative that is fully interoperable with NATO standards. The integration of the KF-21 into air forces that already operate the F-35 creates a formidable deterrent. An adversary facing such a force must account for both the invisible threat of the Lightning II and the sheer numbers and kinetic speed of the Borame. In conclusion, the narrative that the KF-21 and F-35 are rivals is a simplification that ignores the complexities of modern air power. In 2026, it is clear that the most resilient air forces will be those that do not rely on a single platform. The F-35 provides the essential silver bullet capability required to blind an enemy's eyes, while the KF-21 Borame provides the sustainable, sovereign, and versatile hammer needed to win a prolonged conflict. For South Korea, the success of the KF-21 is more than a commercial victory. It is a demonstration of national resilience and a guarantee that the country will never again be entirely dependent on foreign powers for its territorial integrity. As more Borame units take to the skies this year, the world is watching a new era of aviation history unfold, one where Seoul sits firmly at the center of the global defense stage.